Nicholas, I'm understanding that that Peter is going to be meeting his maker. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you read that in the script. I mean, were you were you shocked? Were you did it make sense to you? Like this had to happen? No, I, I, I no, I knew I knew it was coming, but it was still an emotional shock. I think even reading the uh, doing the read through of that episode, it was it was we're all mic'd up during the read throughs, and I think you could just hear Ella and I like sniffling. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Next to each other because uh, it is um, it's it, it's been a character that I've loved playing and 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 had such a wonderful time making with everyone that it's um, it was really really emotional to 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 come to an end. I was shocked, I was saddened, yeah. but it also felt like I guess the correct thing because also that was the wonderful thing about reading that episode because there was a moment where I was like. I was in my feelings and I was like, oh, Peter, myself, oh, all, all these things. I won't get to do any of this fun and be with these people and experiences anymore. And then throughout the rest of that episode and where the rest of the episodes after that go in terms of Catherine's grief and her storyline and Grigor's and Catherine, um, all these characters, the twist and the, and, the, and the feel of the show, Tony's writing was so wonderful and how everyone portrayed, you know, grief and, and how, coming to terms with those things was so powerful that I was suddenly like I was like oh this is actually kind of the best thing that could have happened for the show and wonderful for me as like a fan of it because I just get to watch what happens to these characters from the outside now. Al for you we see you know Catherine and Peter go through their ups and downs but how does Catherine take it losing Peter? Not great. <laughs> um, she's, she's in denial. She's in complete denial that it, it even happened. So she has told herself that it, she didn't see it and that he's still alive and everything's fine. And that's her coping mechanism. I think she's in deep shock yeah, and like deep, just her mind is she, it's such an overload and it's so upsetting that she can't deal with it. So she goes into this kind of manic grief um, that Tony had heard about on, I think at this American life podcast, he listened to this. It was a father daughter story. I think they'd lost their mother and, and the father went into this grief that wasn't sobbing grief it wasn't it you know it wasn't sad it was mania it was mm -hmm. like him really getting busy with a lot of things and and acting in a kind of irrational way like it was totally manic so that was something that tony and i talked about we wanted to she i mean she, catherine starts off in that denial mania and then she she remembers and i think you know is is completely just almost paralyzed, I think, by it. She can't, you know, what like grief does to you. Um, I think we wanted to show also an honest portrayal of that, of grief and getting to explore it. But also, of course, our show is still funny. So I think the, like tonally, we had to make sure that once Nick is gone, which is like, Nick is, brings all the laughs and like you know, the joy it's like oh no he's gone so is the show just going to be really sad now because he's such a beloved character and i think we all tried to not make it that way like it is still funny but it's very heavy with emotion um and i myself like it really wasn't it it was challenging because to find the calibration of that but like the emotion that i felt was so accessible and there because i was so i was i was like i cried so much it was like ridiculous i was like oh you need me to cry in the scene i'm like oh yeah i'll just think about nick like walking down the hall and now we're never gonna do these scenes together again and you're not like it was funny we would talk about it the whole cast we all felt like peter's presence in all of our sets because I would walk into a set and I'd be like, no, like we did this and that. It was like, it was so like, but then that's just, it's a testimony to how good of an actor Nick is because his presence was still around us as Peter, even after he was gone. So he, that character oh, just made such you. an impact. Oh, I love the way the two of you talk about each other. Listen to me.